old school bodybuilding clothing company. If it's been three and a half hours since you last ate protein, and now you're starting to freak out, you are old school. If watching someone sit on a hammer machine for five minutes between sets playing with their phone pisses you off, you are definitely old school. OSBBC.com for the hardest training athletes. You can smell the cooked eggs. Yeah, hell yeah. Good, good. Ooh. Now you're a man. A man, man, man. Now you're a man. A man, man, man. A man, man, man. You are now a man. You're a man. Hello. Anybody there? And better than ever. And Mr. G is uh, scrounging around or scrounging around, I should say, my yard for his uh, key that he lost to his car. But he is in studio. Uh, I want to welcome the rest of the WAC Pack here. We have Johnny Bravo and Greg Valentino, Rich Rodriguez. And I don't know where John Romano is. He's missing in action. I've been watching John. Have you seen John, some of the stuff he's been building in his house? He built a kitchen, an old Italian kitchen downstairs in his basement. The guy is the, so handy. Unbelievable. He could do anything. He's, yeah. He could do it. I think he's pissed because you're, you're eating another cookie. And ah. But, um. Yeah, yeah George, did you send out cookies to these guys? Too. They're getting wrestles, the troops. They're, they're, they're going to they're gonna mutiny these guys. No, they're going to, uh, <laughs> when we rebrand and the new facility. You've been saying that for weeks now. These guys uh, are starving. Look at them. They're licking, they're licking their uh, lips. They're so hungry. They haven't eaten in yeah, days. Yeah, you've been. You've been rebranding since I first came on board. You've got to feed eight. these guys, um, uh, George. <laughs> Now, now, what happened last week? Your, your car broke down? Oh. No, I, I had I had, a, I had too much work to do. Oh. I couldn't... Uh, when you say work, you mean you, you're baking too yeah, much? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. That's what I mean. I'm, I mean we I'm, don't have George on camera, by the way, uh, Tyler. Yes, we do. Oh, we do? Okay. He's like on the little end of the... Uh, we, like we, he's like the yeah, little big, he's like uh, Baxter in, in, on the side bigger, on the, the side of the desk there. <laughs> a, a much bigger facility. Are you building all it? The yeah, all the packaging, and everything. So that's why I can't. Yeah, oh. I mean, otherwise we can't fulfill orders. Yeah, we need to be able to fulfill orders in two days. We have, yeah. you know, I mean, so it, it's, I'm glad that my order gets fulfilled every week when you come, when you come to the studio. <laughs> well, I, I actually. <laughs> I was I had to take away from someone's order because oh I'm, I'm I glad made, I was making yours this morning. I'm glad that they, I become they, a priority. Burnt. They burnt. Oh, uh, no, you don't want to do that. They still liked them, but I threw yeah. Right, right. You don't. You, I, I would have taken. I would have taken the burnt I was going to put put like in a, in a white bag with all, uh, all crumbs. Like, yeah, I like that. Crumbs. I probably would have eaten that. Yeah. yeah. Well, then you do it anyway. Yeah, I know. You break it up anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> Mr. Protein, Mr. G's Protein Snacks dot com. You can check those out. Uh, what's up, guys? Uh, now. Uh, a lot to talk about in the in the world. So, Johnny Bravo, you want to start first? What's going on over there? Oh, you know, actually, Dave, I wanted to say I watched your uh, interview with Boston Lloyd's mother. Yeah, that was and it, it was tough. I, yeah, it was a, it was a great interview because it I think it gave a lot of people insight on on things about Boston's life and about him as a person that not a lot of people knew about him growing up and, and yeah. the things how he dealt with things in school. And I think that explains a lot about him as a person because yep. a lot of things you know the way he acted a lot of people didn't understand it you know but you know, having that insight now mm -hmm. you understand a little bit more about the way he was and uh you know his mother giving us that was good but you know one thing i was really surprised dave was the fact as and me knowing him as a person he was against you know street drugs right and i was surprised to hear that oxys were in his system when yeah. he died that shows he must have been in some type of real bad pain I think he was in emotional pain, not necessarily physical pain. And I think uh, I know he had been playing with Newbane for a little while. He said he wanted to just experience it, and I think it, it escalated from that point. I think what I think once the doctors told him that you're in kidney failure and you're going to need a transplant, he in his mind rejected that. He somehow thought, and his mom his mom said this in the interview. He somehow thought that he knew more than them that he was going to cure his kidney somehow. And a matter of fact, someone sent me a text message. I'm not going to say who it was from him 
like maybe a couple days before he died, when they said, you know, he's like, yeah, the doctors told me I should go off all the steroids, but you know what? I feel good now, even though I know my numbers have gotten worse on my creatinine levels. I feel good, and I'm going to continue to take steroids. I'm, I'm upping the dosage now because I feel good on them. And he just didn't care. It was like it was like almost like he was like, well, if I die, I die, kind of thing, you know. And you know, it's his crazy. Mom, yeah, his mom's saying, I'll, I'll finish off by saying this. Uh, his mother's saying, you know, it was something we had to expect is going to happen. The fact that my son is going to die. She knew. She knew. You know. And, and- and- and it's crazy you guys talk about that because one of the latest videos that I launched, I was addressing the whole mental health issue in the bodybuilding industry. I mean, because, um, you know, one could attribute, you know, like, you know, COVID, you know, mm-hmm. for for, re- uh, for reasons for people dying. One can attribute, you know, the, the astronomical dosages, but people fail to address the issue with the mental health, man. I mean, like, you know, the, the depression that people, you know, the, the, the depression that people encounter, the and how and how mental health is indirectly affected by the products that that, that, that these bodybuilders take. Yeah. But, you know, Richard, you know? I mean, John Romano, you know, you knew Boston pretty well, like I did. He had this mentality that if he couldn't take massive amounts the way he wanted to, then, you know, he'd rather not be alive. And mm-hmm. I think once he knew that his kidneys were damaged and he wasn't able to do that anymore, it was a very depressing reality. And I think that's when he started wow. using some of the narcotics, like some of the uh, you know oxy stuff, just to kind of. Yeah, but you gotta it. you gotta understand, he was raised by two bodybuilders. His mother was a bodybuilder, right. and his father was a bodybuilder. So since he was really really little, that's all he had in his mind. Like, yeah. well, that was his future was to become a bodybuilder. Right. And what I think a yeah. lot of the audience doesn't understand is that. There has to be balance in life, and you can't. In bodybuilding, it's say, I just want to get huge. I just want to get fucking jacked. I want to be bigger than anybody else. <laughs> and, and has the human being evolved since Dave Palumbo was three fucking fifteen? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, but everybody today is three fifteen, Dave. Yeah. Uh, it's fucking crazy. If I see one more guy, you have these guys that I've never seen before that you'll be like profiling on RS yeah. Muscle, and I'll see. Like this week, you know, we had Ed Beckley, Joe Matarazzi, and this is some guy, from <laughs> Joe Matarazzi from fucking overseas or whatever. And the fucking guys are huge. Yeah. They make, he's bigger than Big Ramy. Everybody's yeah. bigger than Big Ramy right now. How the fuck is that possible? It's, it, you know, and it's all fucking drugs. If you see with some of these mass monsters, Tom Prince and all those guys, even what's his name there, fucking... Um, Paul, De, uh, Paul DeLette uh, at one point. Paul DeLette yeah, at one that, point. Thank you. I, you read my... I couldn't remember... Paul yeah, Gullett, Paul all those guys, yeah. they're fucking Pee Wee Herman. You know what I mean? God rest uh, Tom Prince's soul. He passed away. But if you saw him after, you know, he went off steroids, he was a monster in person. And then when you saw him after steroids, you looked like Lance Armstrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and there's yeah. something to be said for that. It, it, and these guys watching this, they get, they're get so consumed with, with just getting fucking jacked. And I think that Rich Piano also opened that fucking door. Yeah. You know, let's get big. It doesn't right. matter. You know, I'm, I'm, don't do this at home. Here's Remember, listen, his, his motto, what was it? Whatever it takes. It didn't matter right, what it was. Well, he had it exactly. tattooed on his, Boston, but, Boston had it tattooed on his arm, right? But listen, he would take four fucking scoops of his fucking pre-workout. Yeah. In there. And then, you know, all kinds of other shit. And then make these ridiculous shakes with like cocoa pebbles and fucking you know applesauce and fucking yeah but you know what though greg i heard that uh all that stuff was bullshit it was just a show from the camera because i talked to sarah you know sarah piana his ex is one of my friends right she told me all that shit was for show he never actually well i'm good friends with chanel and you know my girlfriend like and chanel talk all the and they love each other chanel and sarah love each other right (laughs) 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 i don't want to get into that i'm i'm not uh sarah's favorite person anyway but whatever you know what's crazy though? Sarah's been my friend for years. The day that um, when Rich died, okay, I was on actually on the phone with her, and she got the call on three way that he died, and she just cried to me on the phone. Sarah's well, a real, you know, Sarah's misunderstood, but I'm telling you, I've been friends with her almost a decade. No one wants to Very see anyone that they look. No one wants to see anyone that they, that they love, yeah. whether the relationship went sour or not, die. I yeah. mean, it's just that's just no, but they- the You'd point have to be I'm a trying to make, to, to yeah. not be the point I'm trying to make is like I just asked Johnny when we were before this thing happened about the that West Coast East Coast. I just did a video about it. I didn't put it up, but you know the funniest thing is like I watch Cali Muscle right. I laughed my fucking ass off when he made this pie and he made it out of fucking 
uh, Sprite soda, not even Diet Sprite. He immediately added like Sprite, Sprite soda, Fruity Pebbles, um, a whole bunch of other like stupid shit that he made a pie. <laughs> and, 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 and like fruit, fruit, uh, you know, the fruit comes in a syrup, what do you call it? Fruit cocktail, right? right. Comes in a syrup with all that thick syrup and he pours it in. He how much fucking sugars in that? And he made this pie and he eats it. And he has this like fucking orgasm. And, and it's the funniest <laughs> fucking thing. But the only, the other thing is the people, there's a lot of guys who actually believe that. Right. It, that's, a, yeah, he's that's got, an he's act. got a big kid following. They all follow that bullshit. That's what I'm saying yeah. though. It's, it's that kind of stuff. Like when, when Piano would take four scoops of pre-workout, you know what I mean? There's idiots out there who take four fucking scoops of pre-workout. That's well, Greg, right. Greg, you know what this, the, the sad part was? Boston didn't exaggerate anything. These guys like Cali Muscle and Rich Piano, they were they're showmen. They know what they're doing. Yes. But I know Boston that. was but, serious but, about what he would do. He would if he told you he was taking ten thousand milligrams of gear a week, he was taking yep. ten thousand milligrams of gear. So yep. I mean I mean I, I did remember, the same thing. I, yeah, I remember when I was uh, you know, when when WFN was active when he uh when he and uh Musclehead Musclehead used to, uh, you know, do videos together, and and they would like take like these ridiculous dosages and injections, and talk about their protocols online, man. And it's like, and I used to stay in touch with Musclehead while I was incarcerated, and man, it's like, in all honesty, it's like with the type of dosages that even Musclehead was taking, I think that prison was a blessing to him for still being alive. Oh, exactly. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. I tell you what, my arrest probably saved my life. Uh, because I, I couldn't do steroids, obviously, when I was locked up. And the whole fucking, you know, my shit came crashing. But it's just, I had so much shit in me. It was time-release juice for years, that shit. Was still- <laughs> but, but here's the thing. Here's the fucking thing that, um, that with Boston Lloyd, and I mm-hmm. love the guy to death. And I used to talk to Boston all the time. I sent him a whole bunch of game fish shit. He fucking, I seen him shoot shit through... I think it was with that other guy that you were just talking about. Yeah, he's in his, his fucking chest. In the fucking he chest. Shot, he shot in his yeah. chest through the fucking shirt. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't you care. He didn't even fucking listen. clean the wounds. He, he'd take his shirt clean and the wounds. the fucking he, shit. He did it through the shirt. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. Now, God bless him. I, I, I'm not talking bad about him. I, you know, God God rest him. So I actually liked him, you know, and I, I, I used to talk to him all the time. But the thing is, is that that's not like, fucking good you know what i mean i i know i was bending my my shit was bending like fish hooks and shit because i was reusing needles throwing it on the ground so i wasn't too smart but at least i say it you know what i mean you weren't but there's posting a lot it. of kids you weren't huh? putting, you weren't putting that shit up online there's a big difference in in, in, right. in social media now these guys got a big huge platform they have to realize that what they're doing other people are going to be influenced you got to yeah. do the right thing you yeah. can't you, 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 would one of these guys what, want to have some kids fucking die and, and get really sick? No. So you, that's, that's, that's why. That's, that's, we, there, yeah. There's, there's also you have to make a, 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 a separation. In other words, if you want to do extreme things, great. But if your health starts to suffer because of it, you have to then do something to negate that, right? That means whether yeah, stopping, cutting them. back. Boston was all in. And he's like, whatever happens, happens. And even once something did happen, he still could not stop. Because he had something in his head that was just that had clicked. Mental health. It all goes back to mental yeah, health. Yeah, I mean, his mom said it. He had a defiance disorder where he would do the opposite of what people told him to do his whole life. I mean, his mom explained that. So a doctor telling him to stop taking steroids was, was I mean, that's a trigger for him. Especially oh, stop? The, I'm going to do the, more now because you're telling me to stop. You know, Dave, especially the Indian guy, he was laughing. At, yes. I just hear, I heard his expression when he would describe that Indian yes. doctor. I yes. pissed in my pants, especially yeah. that Indian guy. He fucked them up when he went to him. He said, I'm not listening to this asshole. But that, but that was Boston's problem. He could not listen to any advice about no, himself. But it goes beyond that though. It goes beyond that. See, when you go out of a gym and you're all straight, dude, what a workout, bro. I fucking still feel, give me that shit. And you shoot it through a shirt, through a fucking shirt. That's like, you know how many kids see that shit? Yo, dude, I saw Boston Lloyd in this video. Bro, he was all jacked. He's sweaty. He came out of his right. bad ass, blah, dude, blah, blah, blah. Right, I'm going to do the same thing, bro. Yeah, give me that fucking insulin shit. Watch this. Uh, right through the shirt. Uh, right through the shirt. I mean, it's it's just not good. You know what I mean? It's, well, that's, why his mom, that's why his mom wanted to do the interview. She wants to make sure that this doesn't happen to someone else. And she was trying to explain to people that she loves her son. But this was not something that she endorsed, and he she tried her guy. hardest to get him to stop. But you know, Boston, he did what he wanted. You know, 
He was a good yeah. guy. Uh, I mean, but you know, just that certain things. I don't think he thought that some kid's going to see him shoot himself through the fucking shirt in the chest with a fucking insulin needle and say, I'm going to do the same thing. But they do. These kids, it's monkey see, monkey do. You know, I, I know. And, I, you know what, I, Greg? I, feel- I, 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 take, I take exception to the fact when you say he was a good guy. If he was a good guy, he wouldn't be demonstrating this fucking stupid behavior. I just don't think he and, cared, uh, John. But that's I don't the think thing. he cared. He didn't care. That's why I make a good guy. You can't not a... care. You can't not care and be a good guy. You can't. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. So you can't. You can't be I... out there jabbing five cc pins full of shit into your chest and say he's a good guy. He's not a good guy. No, but no, I don't think he realized that he was rising. You're no, glamorizing. But, no, but John, but John, if you stupid. watch the interview, if you watch the interview with his mother, right? It's she nice. explained the, the 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 problems he had as a kid mentally in a well, lot of areas. Nice. Mental health. I'm not, I'm not talking that's about that's what I'm that. saying. So I'm I think not, he I'm did not, it I'm not, carelessly. I'm not I'm, I am not talking about that. What I'm talking about is glorifying how good a guy he is because he's not. No, but what I mean, any, any guy that's going to go out on social media and promote stupid, dangerous, idiotic behavior that that knowing full well it's being seen and absorbed by young guys who don't know what the fuck they're doing that are going to look up to him and do the same stupid shit. John, that's not a good person. Just John, I agree with you. I, I, I John, agree I agree with you, with you when you say give your example that you give to people is the most important thing. Cause I believe in that. That's what I try to do. Right. But this is the thing. I don't believe that he knew what he was. I agree. Doing. That's what I said. I don't think he thought, but John, you were friends with Boston, right? Well, I met a good guy. Like when you sit that, he's a nice guy. And we, and I talked with him a million yeah, times. He's, he's, an, he's, an, he's an affable I guy. I met like what that. To, entertaining, all of that shit. But when you go that extra step, and take something that you know is bad, okay, and you're glorifying it. The only reason he's doing it is because it's outrageous, right. okay? It's getting attention. And when you promote that and you get gullible young guys that are looking up to him. But it's say, not I'm just him, but John, too. John. But like what it, John it, is it, saying it. is if he wanted to do it in the privacy of his own home, fine. But don't go out there and put it on the internet. Exactly. Where but what about everyone else who does it? That's Even though he didn't, when he, when people asked him what yeah, the right but, dosage was, he, didn't, yeah, he, but he but always he told John. people, don't do what I do because I'm crazy. But... Yeah, you know, as soon as you like, put it out there, everyone wants to do what he's yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. Don't do what yeah, I do because like, that that's like do what I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Well, listen, I love Tony Huge, and Tony Huge is worse than him with the shit he does. Yeah. Hell no. Hell no. I think no. what Tony is not. Hell no. You know, I guess like, Tony, Tony doesn't do it. DNP. You don't think that shit with the DNP? How many kids were doing DNP because of Tony? Oh, Tony's irresponsible. Yeah, and and, and advocating irresponsible. Yeah. And he knows what he's doing, but I love Tony. But everyone, it's not just Tony. Top left, it's everybody. Yeah, but that's almost the oranges, dude. Like. That's apples to oranges. I'm sorry to interrupt, um, John. It's like when when I know, I, Boston. I'm going to say exactly what you're going to say. So go ahead. yeah, but, <laughs> let, me like Boston, let me hear what you're going to say. Let me hear what you're going to say. Boston Lloyd was the one that opened up the door, dude, to stupidity in the industry. I mean, I remember him even bad mouthing my company. I'm like, granted, yeah, was I fucking illegal? Yes, but was I promoting like like you know like like crazy stupid shit? No. That's the reason why I had a fucking eighty percent retention rate. Wait applies. a minute! I, wasn't doing I crazy opened shit. up the door to stupidity. I was way <laughs> you, before yeah, Boston. Greg might have opened the that, door. You're right. I <laughs> opened the door. To, I was I was rich piano yeah. way before. Rich yes, you're right. You're rich right, Greg. Greg, Greg well, that's wait, one, one of the things, things, things one you, thing you guys said. are forgetting. How old, <laughs> well, see, wait, hold on a second. He was a child, literally 18, 19 years yeah. old, when he started doing this shit. Kid, you got to understand the age of he was younger than that. He was doing it at 16, yeah, originally. But then yeah, he, you can't compare wow. a kid going on social media doing this dumb shit because that's how kids are these days. You can't compare that to what an adult does. It's completely Johnny, different world. No 16 year old kid who's had hair on his dick maybe two, three years. It needs fucking testosterone, bro. No, I agree. Agree. Happened. Dude, when my agree. parents left the house and I was 16, it was like, oh, shit, they're going to the store? Good. Out came the fucking Playboy. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? I should You know what I'm saying? Wait, I released wait, the Greg, hostages. You gotta, wait, Greg, you got a Playboy. Wait, Greg, you got one of those old school Playboys on the, the, your desk over there? <laughs> Let's see. My girlfriend has dick. Cake. Don't open up the pages. Though. <laughs> what the hell is that? 
the what is that a sex little, toy these are like your little dick necklaces i don't know if you can see them what? they're little penises i think i'm gonna like buy those necklaces. and give them out as christmas they're gifts to, to my relatives and, and uh <laughs> we don't use condoms she thought she's funny give me this shit for my birthday and shit like i gotta look i get dick for your fucking car right? <laughs> see, I think she dick. knows what you, you like that's that? why a dick for your car. She knows you're here. I hope you wait. Wait, Greg. Let me ask you a question. dark fucking condoms. I've never used a condom in my life. Greg, Greg, yes. please tell me you don't buy no use dildos or shit like no, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. We find them on the side of the road sometimes. <laughs> we don't what? take the dildos. <laughs> How do you find that? We, get the, we fly cock rings. My girlfriend opened well, this oh. thing the other day, and it was a fucking cock ring in there no. and shit. You know, I said, let me smell that. Uh, well, let me ask you guys. Wait, let me ask you guys a question. What's the point of a cock ring? Anytime I tried to use one, it choked my to dick. Get the some... blood in the fucking officially god there. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean it's like like you're it, like my girl. My girl. Now they get cab reject. You don't need cock rings anymore. No, but yeah, it my, makes no, your dick no. soft. It chokes it. It hurts. That shit yeah. don't feel no, good. Nowadays, n- nowadays you got try mix, man. You got try mix. You inject yourself ten. I use you know like ten wait, units of that shit, man. Hell yeah, I use fucking Trimix, man. It's like I, I use fucking. What's in Trimix? That is that the Cavajack? It's, it's yeah. the same thing. Okay. But what's yeah, wrong with that. fucking? Uh, what's wrong with using Cialis? You don't need that bullshit. Well, sometimes you want to knock a bitch out, man. It's like you know, like I have. Ten, I have a friend of mine who used the Cavajack once, and he, he probably he's like a Boston lawyer. He used too much of it. And after eight hours of having an erection, he had to go to the hospital because it was so painful. And that they had to do is they have to what they do is they irrigate it. In other words, they have to stick a needle, a huge needle into the yeah. into your penis and basically try to flush out yeah. the caverjack that's stuck in there because the oh. blood's. He said it was brutal Dude. and they couldn't get and it did it like four times to him and that's the max Dude, they could I do it. it. And then I he had it. to have surgery. They had to open it up and, and oh. let it out. It was, oh, it was, oh, all because he's celebrating. He's, he's enjoying this. Shit. Look at me. Yeah, exactly. Come on, look at him. He's like, I love this kid. I stick shit in my dick all the time. I got a crazy story. I got a crazy story about the the dick injection. When I was making about thirty, forty thousand dollars a day in sales, I was addicted to prostitutes. I was spending probably about ten to fifteen thousand dollars sometimes a week just on horrors. Holy no, so, yeah. So one time, my bodyguard, uh, I told my bodyguard, I was like, "Hey, man, we got to try this try mix. I want to see how many women we could fuck over the span of four hours. Oh shit! You know, with this, you know, with this dick injection." So I, so he didn't know anything about it. So I'm like, yo, so we have like five fucking hookers lined up in the hotel room, right? And I'm like, yo, pull your fucking pants down. And he's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, just pull your fucking pants down. I grab his cock and I inject his ah. cock. But they're like, well, you were, like hold on, Richard, Richard, you were a doctor at that point, right? Yeah, you were he Dr. Was a Rodriguez? doctor. He's injecting yeah, the yeah. fucking dicks now. He was so, a doctor. Yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah, so, 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 did you wear gloves? Like, <laughs> no, 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 and you weren't a doctor. <laughs> Wait, Richard, I think Mr. G won Mr. G wants one. Go no. stick one in his dick. <laughs> so make, dude, so make Mr. a long G, story. Mr. G should make so a make, cookie with that. Yeah, so make a long story. So make a long yeah. story. <laughs> So make a long story short, we had all these five girls lined up. I'm banging the hell out of one of them for like 40 minutes, passing her to to my bodyguard while the other girl lines up. I'm uh, banging her for like 40 minutes. Dude, I must have bust like about five or six nuts, and no. I was still going on. But this is what's crazy. This is how the story gets crazy. That day, I was supposed to be at a funeral. So my wife calls me, and she's like, hey, where you at? And I'm like, holy fuck, I got to go to this funeral. My dick is still erected. I bust about four or five fucking nuts. I'm getting on my car, driving to the fucking funeral parlor, and I'm like, how the fuck is this shit going to go down? How the fuck is this shit going to uh, go down? Because you know you guys got to have an antidote to bring it down quickly. So that's when I talked to one of my doctors. Um, John Ramon knows of Dr. Zook, who he met. And he was like, oh, dude, it's like if you do not have the downer, you got to take Sudafed. Dude, I ran. I was drunk. Did it I work? I ran to fucking walk Dude, I, but I was groggy as fuck, dude. Uh, I had to pop the whole fucking box of Sudafeds, like thirty of those motherfuckers. Thir- I'm in the hold on, hold on. Why would you take thir- the- why would you take thirty of them? Because because, dude, I I took ten, waited thirty minutes, wasn't going down. The last thing I wanted to do was get out of the car with a massive fucking erection, and my wife be like, "What the fuck is wrong with you, man? It's a funeral." So Richard, I, was- I should I. Sh- 
Richard, I should have sent you a picture of my mother-in-law. Oh, ah. yeah. Yeah. Right down. Oh. You look at her, you fucking ah. break right down. You say to me, how the fuck did your girlfriend ever get born? <laughs> And no, right no, on cue, right Jimmy on. the Bull Fuck comes that. in. Yeah. Or Richard, just We're talking about mother in laws Jimmy. You, Rich, if you just thought of your mother yelling at you, your dick would have went soft uh, right away. That's fucking disgusting, man. I can't do that, man. Jimmy, did you ever have an, uh, an extended uh, erection that you couldn't get rid of? Who? Jimmy. Uh, you talking to me? Oh, yes. That's Jimmy. You're the only you're, Jimmy in the room. You're Jimmy, last I checked. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, who is that? Who, who's, who, who made that wise comment the back just now? Me. Is that... Is that uh, that's who I thought it was? <laughs> How you doing, John? How are you? Good, brother. Today? How are you doing? Uh, Glad okay. to see you, Jimmy. You came in sure. in the middle of a heated conversation, so looks like he's in a different room. Jimmy. Oh, I understand. I understand that. Yeah. Hey, Jimmy, 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 have you ever injected your dick with something to make it hard? No, absolutely not. No, you kidding me? No, I wouldn't I, want to do something like I that. I tried to jack once. Yeah, and what yeah. happened? What happened, John? I, I had a hard on for four hours. Oh, not fine. But doesn't Vi but Viagra does that shit? Not no, so Viagra just makes it easier to get an erection. Four, it doesn't keep it. Around. My dick was like this for four fucking hours. It was like you know, <laughs> <laughs> and Viagra don't do that. Yeah, it <laughs> did to me. I so tried it one time. I'll never try it again. No, you, you know what's crazy is that when you try that shit, it's an addiction, bro. It's it's like um. When I tried that shit for the first time with with a girl with a bikini girl that uh, that competes that I didn't want to name her name, uh, I felt like a fucking rock star. So it was like I have to use this yeah, with every I, I single think you should, new I chick. Think you should name her name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or it didn't happen. <laughs> or it didn't happen. Great. She won. She won the Brazilian. So what, uh, what happened to testosterone? I mean, when I was younger, and I was on testosterone and anadrol and sustenon and suspension. That's all you need. I agree with you, you Jimmy. Know, my, my dick, you know, forget about yeah. it. it. You was, know, Jimmy, uh, you make, no. hold on, Jimmy, you make a very good point because you know what? I get a lot of people nowadays who have a, erection problems. I've never seen so many bodybuilders have erection. They're on so much gear. You yeah. would think that they would have the craziest sex drive of all time. But I think what happens is when you take too much, especially like DECA and Trembolone, you raise right, prolactin so much that it completely exactly. inhibits your ability to have an erection. So you have a good sex drive, but you have no, you, you can't get an erection, which is the ultimate irony. Here you are taking these drugs <laughs> and you can't even, they can't even work for you. That, yeah, that Dave, tells you, you know right there that you're doing too much. But Dave, but Dave, you know what I noticed? When your estrogen is too high from you taking too much shit, a lot of people aren't on AIs. They don't take them. So when that estrogen level is too high, your dick won't get hard either. It's got to be at the I, right I balance. I think when it's too low is what the real is about. No, no, Dave, well, right. Be either too low or too high. It's got to yeah. be at no, the right Dave, amount. Dave's right. Correct. You know why? Because if you drink too much caffeine, like if you drank like two, three bangs, after a while, the caffeine goes the opposite way. Yeah. You keep trying to take more and more in, right. but you keep getting tired. Am I right or wrong, Dave? Like, the yeah, no, it's like that. But anyway, I think guys today take too many steroids, which is and what that's why we're seeing people complaining about erection issues and not the sex drive is weird. And and I've fixed a lot of people by lowering their dosages, believe it or not, because a lot of guys come to me they're really depressed because they're like, I, I don't have a sex drive. Because then what happens is they go from taking t too much, they go off completely because they think it, it's the steroids, and then they're on nothing. So you got to kind of get them into the middle ground. What about caber know? going? Caber going, doesn't that help? Uh, you know, it helps, but it doesn't completely neutralize prolactin. And then they then guys ACG? take too much of it, and then they you have no get a prolactin. Heart attack from that shit. How about ACG, Dave? Back in the day, we used ACG, to use ACG, it works well. But what happens? I think a lot of guys are just taking too many drugs, and they don't even know what's in the drugs. A lot of times, they're fake. And also, if you take yeah. too much test propane, well, aside know, from Greg, got... Val aside from Greg Valentino, anyone else who takes too much test propane, you feel like you have the flu on the stuff. So that kills your sex yeah. drive too. I have to say, I think it's like you said, it's it, it's it's the mix. So you know, when I was younger, I did all the you know the testosterone, you know, yeah. uh, sipionate, yeah, uh, anadrol, you know. So that's why when you start doing Tren and Equipose and uh, all this other shit, you're mixing too much shit, and I think that's when you have an erection problem. I just no, did straight mean? testosterone. I you know suspension. Forget. It. I when I got a hard on, I could I could run into a sheetrock wall, <laughs> poke my cock. <laughs> I never had a problem with my fucking he, he, he he out, like, My cock was out of fucking control. It had a whole fucking mind. How about Jimmy, that? Jimmy, it was like that. Jimmy, Jimmy. You, know when you, you know, Dave, when the old Italians, they take the fucking, the, the, the vine, you know, the grapevine, and, and, and it pulls down. To, that's how you used to find the, the water in the farm. Like, you know, <laughs> they used to take the grapevine, hold it on the, over, the, over the earth, and then it would pull to the ground like that because it was Jimmy. finding water. 
That's what Mike Cock did with pussy. When I walk into into a fucking club, all of a sudden Mike Cock would just turn to the fucking hottest bro there. I just fucked. I just had all. How about that? Tell them about the workout you used to do with the Pichelli Gats and the and the wet Greg. Yeah, well, that's that's back in the other back in the day, the same thing. And I used to get, I used to get, I used to wake up with a fucking hard on. So I used to get in the shower. My fucking dick would be like a piece of steel pipe. And then after I got in the shower, I would take the I would take the towel. I was soaking wet. I would hang it on my cock. And I would do I would I would jerk my cock and I would do exercises with my fucking cock with the wet towel. Just, just strengthen it because when I used to have it in the fucking women, I used to do it inside them like that, and they used to go fucking bananas. So you know, it was, it was very important. You know, the, only, get, the only I couldn't do was twirl my dick. If I could have twirled it, I would have made millions of dollars back in the day. That, that's because the world's that flat. You, <laughs> for, that, for that, for that, all you gotta do is just get the pearls, man. It's like I've seen a whole bunch of people in prison. What they used to do is like they used to shave domino pieces, right? Yeah. And and and, and cut a hole in, in 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 guys' penises and put for like what? little pearls. Put like little pearls within their cock. So when they fu- so when they so when they get out and they fuck a woman, those little pearls stimulate the clit. Fuck that! I'm not sticking no, no it's just, it's just under the oh, skin. No. They just pop it yeah, under the skin. Yeah, they pop it under the skin. They slit no, it. No, they're out of their skin. fucking minds. I never heard this shit in my life. You Holy can't get shit. an infection they may, they doing that. Oh, that shit, bro. They, Dave, seen, I've imagine I've your cock going septic and you got to have it amputated. Yeah, it, it just oh seems like a, it's God. like now I tell people don't oh. inject your quads. Don't inject. Don't put anything in your penis. All right, you don't want to lose that. Who want to do that? That's fucking. This is a true story. I I remember when. <laughs> when I used to, when they first started pro, uh, spray tanning people, um, they had my room set up at the spray tanning booth. The Colette was spray tanning people. And I'm not going to say who the bodybuilder was. One of these bodybuilders, he was a top guy at the time, came in and took his clothes off, whatever, to get spray tan. He had a ring in his penis that was so big. I'm like, what are you out of your mind? He goes, oh, the girls love it. I'm like, there's no way that feels good. He's like, well, when oh, I pee, man. it kind of comes out the side too. So. <laughs> Wait, it is. And, and, and yeah, he had it through the head of his penis. Charles. What do they call that? Oh, Prince, Prince Charles. Charles. Yeah, Prince Charles. What's that? How, how do they do? Yeah, what? Prince Charles. No, it's called it's called like a Prince Charles or a yeah, King Prince King Charles. Charles. I yeah. never understood that either. Listen, I don't want to fuck up my dick to make the girl feel good. I want to feel the shit on my dick. Fuck Why would I stick a hole in it? <laughs> fuck that bitch. No fuck sense. That. <laughs> if you got a fucking fat, be surely God. You know, I'm pretty fucking fat down there. Uh, then you're fine. I know. I don't have. I'm fucking 27 years old with a mic off, but she don't complain. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's Mine when you got a little thing like this, you got to put all these fucking beads in there. All these fucking pools and the pearls and the fucking rings on it. Exactly. You're right. Yeah. You're right, Greg. That's you got to put rims on it, you know. Do it. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you, if you got to improvise, you don't know how to fuck. That's yeah. the bottom line. You got to put spinners <laughs> on it, you know. <laughs> if you got that you're, you're, you're a fucking disease, loser. Right? Big fucking- Wait, let me ask Dave a question. Dave, yeah. what's the craziest thing you ever used like that? I, I haven't put anything on my penis. I mean, I've used Trimble. Cialis. I've yeah, tried Cialis. I've used oh, Cialis. See. Cialis, I think, worked the best because it lasts a long Me too. Time. I agree. Oh, I, I love agree. Cialis. I don't yeah, like Viagra. Too. Viagra made me very like congested in my head. Me too. I couldn't sleep all night yeah, from Viagra. I, I did like it once. It. I couldn't sleep. I got massive headaches. I'll tell you shit. one thing, though. You got to be careful. Cialis plus clumbuterol can create vertigo with the room oh, really? starts oh, really? Yeah, I didn't know it. I, I, could, I didn't... Because I'd used Cialis before, and then I one day I, I I was contest dieting, and I used it, and I did it did I didn't put two and two together until afterwards, but I got this vertigo, and if you've ever had vertigo, you think you're dying basically because the whole room's spinning, you know, and, and I'm laying down, I'm like, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop, and then it just kind of like slows down, and I and I went and I searched the internet, and I found out that the the, the clenbuterol, and beta two agonists mixed with um. You know, it could drop your blood pressure a little bit. It can cause some vertigo. So you got to be careful of that. But. Dave, uh, you wow. know, what um, dosage? I always found like 10 milligrams works good, like yeah. a couple hours before. Is that what you think, too? Yeah, yeah. And then it would last the whole weekend, too. So, you know. Yeah. I think I less is better with those, yeah. with those drugs. Because if you do too much, they stop working after a while. It's like yeah. you use up the nitric oxide. Because then they're basically not nitric oxide <clears throat> releasers in the genitalia. If you take too much... And you, you try to cause too much nitric oxide release, eventually your, your body can't make it because you run out of the enzyme to make it. So, so wait a second. So does it fuck you up if you take too much of it? Does it fuck you up where you can't get an erection normally without it? 
No, but you might have mm. like it might stop working as well. In other words, okay. it's like it doesn't it doesn't seem to have the effectiveness, like less is better type of thing, you know? Um, okay, yeah. yeah. You know, you know what I like hate? You get a kickstand. You get a kickstand at night, you're trying <laughs> to sleep and you got this fucking boner and shit. Well, Jimmy you know, had the greatest idea. Jimmy, remember that, that? What was that thing you were gonna make, Jimmy, with the cock extension? What were we gonna call it? I'm still working on it. What is it called again? <laughs> you had a name for it. <laughs> hey, you're making a cock extension, Jimmy? Oh, it's, this one's awesome. I got a picture of it somewhere. I don't know where Ooh, I got what it. Is what, it what, what were you calling it? You had a name for it. Uh, I, I forget the name. I was just going to call it, you know, the, the bull. I was going to put it in an American flag <laughs> no, box. And I was going to send it over that. to China. <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah. have, have you seen, back in the day, they used to have this cock extender. It was a condom. Right. And it had like yeah. three inches of extra cock at the end. And you <laughs> no saw way. It, you Shut roll it on like a regular up. condom. Who had that? Really? Once it's on, it looks like you're officially got you see that? No fuck. Jimmy's oh. getting upset. You're taking his idea. That's exactly what the fuck idea. I'm making, John. Where'd you, you got that from me. I don't know that's, that's, that's what that's, the fuck I... That's, that's my fucking what, design. I had a fucking... fucking older than you. Wait, you. Wait, guys, 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 guys. You know who you, could bro. use that? You know who could use that? Remember PJ? That video that get leaked out of him jerking off and his dick was this big? You should send some over to PJ. You prison. know what? I got news for you. A lot of guys would probably buy that. There are a lot of people who are under under a man down there. So, you know. Well, that's, that's why I was going to sell it to China because the Chinese, they got very small penises. So I figured if I would make this product and box, you know, put it in a box, I could, you know, something really They might you know, steal your work. idea, though. You better, you better trademark it or something like that. That know? idea is old. Sorry yeah. to tell you. You got to come I never up saw with it before, John. I researched it. I never saw something like that. I, I saw it when I was like seventeen. I, I was seventeen. I was seventeen. Second Street. <laughs> I went online. I before I before I, I I introduced this idea to myself. I went online. I searched every condom company you could imagine, everything you could, and there was nothing like that extended. So well, basically, it's a condom. Oh, I seen it. You know what? What you did? Yeah, they have an extension. They John said it. They you really got it under your fucking it. table? <laughs> Let me see it. Jimmy, when we used to go to when you we used to your fucking table, Jimmy, 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 probably Jimmy, does. Jimmy look, when we used to go to the peep shows on 47th yeah, Street, yeah, 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 yeah. he's got a cock there. They used to sell them right there in the right there in the um, at the booth. They oh my god, them. talking about talking about 42nd Street, man. That that goes. You're taking it way back, John, man. You I was 17. That's fucking 50 years ago. Man, what happens was... if that falls in a girl's vagina? Yeah, what if it falls off? Like, yeah, you, it has to have straps around. So it, it... no, it's like a condom. It rolls all the way down the rest. Well, of regular the condoms years. fall off. So this thing is gonna have weight. Same thing. Day. It falls off. You gotta go. Pre- you gotta go it's fucking fish. Like <laughs> 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 oh, oh, fuck. Oh, oh, my God. God. This motherfucker. Is that a joke? Whose dick is gonna fit in that fucking thing? Wait. Who well, dick is gonna fit? That's exactly in that. what it is, Greg. So that take that thing, you cut it in half, and then you hang a rubber, you know, a condom off the, the bottom of it. That's exactly what it is. Look, you, you slide it, it on your dick, and then you got that little nice. Yeah, it's not gonna be enough leverage. Like you're not gonna Jimmy. feel anything. Wait, so it yeah. gets, so it goes, it, it's little, and then it gets big. Is what happens. But he, they sell these things, but but this goes on to this, so you can drink from it. <laughs> What are you doing that the hell? You drink from it. It's a they beer put funnel. The girls put this in their mouth, right? Uh-huh. And then they put this, or you can you put the beer in there. You funnel the beer. Anime. See? Dude, what? I need to, Greg, I need to come over. I need to see what you got in that fucking house. What fucking clubs you go to, Greg? What the fuck is that, man? Now my girlfriend's selling his thing. Greg has novelty stuff there. That's where they make a living doing that stuff. Oh, Dude, that's just crazy. Well, you know, if Jimmy comes up with the idea, you know, and he, Dude, he markets a it. a dick candy necklace right here. These are little dicks. <laughs> and they make it, remember like when you were a kid, you get the candy necklace? Yeah. See these yeah. like little, look, there's the penis right there. Can you see that? Uh, okay. <laughs> Wait, go that way. You got to see it? Dude, Greg, listen. Do Greg, sexual listen novelty items sell well, Greg? Oh, that goes around your neck. Yeah. Yeah, it goes oh, around that, your, and, and, and then you eat it. Yeah. And you get bright one off. Oh, it's like the candies. Yeah, look. Greg, put it on. Greg. That's a dick right Open it up, Greg. Huh? Open it up. Put it on. Wait, I don't want to put my mouth on. No, I Look. Look, watch. Are you in your living room, Greg? <laughs> yeah. Look. Wait, wait, wait. See the dick? Oh, you know nice. That's cute. You know, yeah. all, see the little dicks? All the little you know what it looks like, Greg, right, right? Now, you know what you should do, Greg? Greg, you know what that looks like? What? 
Like a female bodybuilder. Those are penises. Each one's a little penis. That's a penis. That's about the size of a female bodybuilder, right? I think girls use that in bachelor rep parties. That's like one of the female bodybuilders. Penises, right? That's there. Like you want to take a shopping bag right full of those and go to a nursing home and hand those out to the ladies in the wheelchair. George, hey, George should make a cookie with these things on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Little penises sprinkles. On no, he and should it, make sh uh, cookie shaped penises. And George, you put Viagra in there? <laughs> Holy shit. It'd be make a million dollars overnight, George. Yeah. Jimmy, look, this is for you. Jimmy, this is for your car. I'll what, send it to you if you want. Look, see if the dip. It's a, it's oh a yeah! Dip. If you hang oh, yeah. that from your rearview mirror, uh, Jimmy, I'll, uh, I'll I'll give you a hundred bucks if you drive around. <laughs> <laughs> It'll smell hey, good. Listen to me, Greg. Mail it to me because I'm out of I work got... right now. I could use the hundred. <laughs> <laughs> listen, Greg, I got a good idea for you. You need to film a whole episode on your channel, right? And you pull out like the carrot top. I brought it up before. You bring out all kinds of crazy shit, and you have a story on each item that you're showing the idea. people. You could do a whole fucking episode like that. You do five items if per you, episode, uh, Johnny. If you <laughs> saw the shit that I have in this house, you would go crazy. I have shit that nobody has. You'd probably help her sales, too, because you could put a link to the uh, to the eBay t the store there. These guys, they, then they want, they try hooking up with her. It's the funniest fucking thing. Yeah. That's he funny. gets people, yeah, yeah, are you a great storefront? You know, do you have any new pictures? You know, do I don't give a <laughs> shit. <laughs> funny. Huh? But, uh, so, yeah, you so, still have the shit in this house. I, I, have a, I, I want to just change the subject for one minute. I don't know how much time we got, Dave. I want to see. I just, I just put it up. Hold I on, good. Jimmy, one second. Tyler. Yeah. David Sis, he wants to look at some comments. Yeah, Ty, Ty, Tyler's pulling up this thing that you, uh, your idea, basically. There My is. idea? That's it, right That's there. It, right there. Where? I, I can't see Jimmy, it. you're too oh, fucking oh, old to surf the internet. <laughs> oh, look, that one has a strap the, on it. Yeah, Which the one? The one for $10.99? Under the, what? Under the, under what the, the balls. Fuck? These are really cheap, too, Jimmy. I don't think you're going to be able to compete with this. What the fuck is that? A ball that's a, that's stretcher. Some, that's some kind of a strap. That ain't nothing for you. That's not an extension on your dick. It that's stretches a, the thing, balls. It says. Why do you want to stretch your balls? Because that keeps you hard. What it does, it goes around your yeah, nuts. That's not keeps the thing. Your nuts tight. You need the extender. There it is. There the extender is. below it. The extender. Jimmy's talking about something. Like this. Oh, look at this one, Jimmy. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it goes two that's, inches on it. It looks like one of Dave's snakes. <laughs> look at it. That's, <laughs> it looks like a snake. I'm going to shut off the PJ. It looks like it would fucking kill a woman. Listen, that ain't what I have. Look at his eyes at the end of it. Yeah. That thing looks like fucking a velocity. You're late to the party, Jimmy. Forget about it. Come on, please. You're late to the party, Jimmy. I pulled my pants off of what? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. What the? That's a good what's one. That, what's, what's that, that like? capsule on the top of it? Oh, Holy come crap. On. That's now nothing imagine like what if I got. men put as much energy into being a better lover than yeah. fucking dad, dad <laughs> right. bullshit. Right? They're, they're making Listen, up for what are they nice making up for? By the way. That's the way I like him. Skinny you like that. And barbed and wire. You got no fat ass. I can imagine you got walking electrical into the bedroom with that fucking that. thing ready to go. The fucking girl would jump out the window. She'd see you put your fat Jimmy, it's only $8. Are How are you going to make any money from this, 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 this product? <laughs> you got to sell a lot of these things. I like the way Tyler knew just how to look this shit up. Yeah, because he's got that. But well, girls like stories anyway. They like to... They, Girls like to read stories anyway. That's what they, they don't look on. Wait, the Greg, internet. Greg, Guys what's the like craziest at, shit a girl ever tried to use on you? I don't have a picture okay. of my, my thing here. What's what did you want to tell us, Jimmy? What's the huh? craziest shit the girl ever tried to use on you, Greg? Craziest thing a girl's ever tried to use. Uh, <laughs> a fucking rotor rooter up his ass. Uh, <laughs> 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 I bet some fucked up shit. Uh, you Jimmy know, got a rusty uh, trombone. Oh, that's the best. Uh, <laughs> What's a rusty trombone? Oh, you mean eat me ass? Is that what oh, you're talking about? You know what a rusty trombone is, right? <laughs> I can't find. I had a picture of my design. It has it's nothing, nothing like the fucking shit you guys are showing me. I can't even find what I did with it. But it's this it's a simple, very simple. Yeah. It's, oh. it's not like that. Though. It's not as big as that, Greg. So in other words, if you cut that like a quarter of the size from the top down, and then mm -hmm. the condom, you know. And you could buy, you know, different sizes depending on how much girth you want. But it doesn't have fucking barbed wire on it. And fucking, uh, well, I don't want to show that fucking. Jimmy, I, I, I want props. Tyler just showed you. I want to know that you're impressed that I have something like this. <laughs> Bro, okay. I said that a couple of shows ago that I am, I, 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 I'm not surprised what the fuck you pull out from under that desk because I've seen it all. I have faith. I have faith in you, man. 
All right, did you Wait, want Greg, to tell you got fix it. Greg, you got one of those flashlights with like the pussy inside. I You're might have, I might have threw it out. Flashlights, they're called, right? Oh, flashlights. No, yeah. Yeah. no, yeah, I, I must have gave I up on that. the idea. I used that one time I threw in the fucking garbage because I couldn't believe how good it felt. I didn't want to get fucked from women for like it felt better than a woman. <laughs> really? Yeah. I gotta get one of those. Oh, dude, you'll never fuck your girlfriend. You don't want it. You'll never want to fuck again. I gotta be honest with you. She fucking because she's Latin, bro, and I'm much older. We fucking fuck all the time, all yeah. the time. I have sex way more than I should. So after all these years, she still anyway. gets turned on good, where it feels good. We still that's we have great. a great sex life because I know how to push my buttons and she knows how to push mine. That's, wow, that's, that's good. Then, yeah. be. Uh, let me let me that, let me bring up another topic because I wanted to talk about it before we run out of time. Bertle Fox. It out. Bertle Fox obviously was a, was a great bodybuilder back in the '80s. Um, and he it was an beat asshole. against Lee Haney. He was a freak. They called him Brutal Bertle. And he was, I think it was 1998, he was convicted of um, killing his girlfriend and her mother on uh, the island of St. Kitts. He was uh, originally sentenced to death, I think by hanging. And then they kind of um, overturned that. And they gave him life in prison in St. Kitts. That's and uh, just recently, they actually released him from prison. He was pardoned by the governor, the new governor, I guess, of uh, St. Kitts. And he's living in the UK now. He's about seventy years old. Um, wow. What? Watch him go and start fucking running to a gym and then try to go on some show. I don't know. He's seventy years old. I don't think he's going to be competing anymore. But uh, you know, it's kind of like a weird story. Sports Illustrated ran this story. I, I sent it to um, uh, to Tyler to put up there. And you know, the original story was that he said that she had he had left his gun with her when he went to the UK and he came back and then she had the gun and he was fighting with her over it and. Um, and it went off by accident and somehow killed her and then killed the mother, which seems a little weird. The the witness that was there supposedly said that he had the gun and he shot, you know, her and the mother. And, you know, and that's oh, obviously yeah. why he was convicted. But I, I, I'm i shocked that he was pardoned. You know, it's it seems kind of weird. John, I you- saw him every fucking day. He used to train at Worlds and oh, really? he was not a nice guy. He was a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I didn't like them. He, no. he, 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 We're in New York. Greg, Greg is a hundred percent no, no, right because I was there too. And Greg is right a hundred percent. Really? The thing, you know that here, here's the thing about him getting pardoned. I, I'm reading it online. Everybody's all happy. Yeah, Obama I don't know what. Yeah, is out. Bertle fights a great thing. What if he spent 25 years in prison for killing two fucking people? All right. So what about them? Yeah. Where, 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 who's? What about their families? What do they get? Bertle's getting out because why? He's 70, so he deserves a break. What is he in bad health? He should fucking die in prison. He killed two people. Yeah. No, you it's know? woke ass society. That's what one it is. person the is world, a mistake. Josh, the Not world. two people. Yeah. The world. So let me tell you no, something. There's got to be a reason why he was he, pardoned. Let me I mean, tell you why something. Why would you pardon somebody who convi- was convicted I, of murdering two fucking the people? New, it's the new world, John. It's, it's the new world. The wokeism. Let me tell you. He was big, but he wasn't that. He was thick. Like Phil Hill. You ever see Phil Hill in person? Yeah. But yeah. they're pinched. He was pinched. Oh, he was narrow? Words, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, Dave. He had narrow he clavicles, pinched. yeah. Right. His clavicles were small. So like, like Gary Strider had a little bit of that going, too. He was pinched. You know what I mean? Well, Phil Heath has got that little bit going on, too, that little pinch. That's why his back wasn't real, real wide. You know, he right, could do the right. pose and come down and do that and go back up. But he didn't have that lat spread or... He right. wasn't brought, but he was an asshole, I'm telling you. I see him in a gym every day. If you try talking to him, he'd look at you and he'd be like, you know, like fucking, like, like basically do that shit. He was, he was not a nice guy. Nobody in the gym liked him. He would just, he'd be by What country was he from? He wasn't from He's here. He's UK, he from- I think. He's right, UK? Yeah. I, I am, oh. see, a lot of people have been asking me, including Big Lenny actually texted me and said, uh, why don't you get, you got to get him on the show. I said, and, and ask him what? You know, I mean, like getting I, 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 I don't show. want to really glorify the fact that he killed two people. You know, he's going to say he didn't do it on purpose. Yeah. He's going to say it's an accident. And obviously that's not the case. You know, uh, yeah. he went to gone to jail for all those years. Nobody in jail is guilty. Yeah. Um, yeah. Every. Oh, no, no, no. They're all innocent. It's funny. <laughs> I, was really guilty. I mean, you, you know, I, used to, I used to sit around and say, I'm a fucking asshole, man. Am I stupid? And everybody else used to be like, dude, I'm all in it because she ratted or this fucking guy. Right. He fucking, you know. 
everybody blamed everybody else. You know what I mean? You hear them on a fucking pay phone screaming at their girlfriends and shit. Meanwhile, and this the is the thing, Dave. I don't know if you know about this. Uh, you, I remember reading about this case years ago because I was actually going to do a video on it. Yeah. And he was extremely jealous. He would follow the girlfriend all around. Like he was yeah, like stalker. Well, she, I think she broke up with him and then he came yes. back from the UK and then, you know, she was dating someone else. And how this gun came into play, you know, he said that she had the gun and he was just trying to just get it back from her. And yeah, then, but no, Dave, he was like stalking her life. There's a lot of oh, shit really? that he was doing. So yeah. that's why I don't understand how they could possibly pardon him when there was so much evidence against him. I don't know where him. this pardon came from. I would love to know what the reason was. I mean, I, I, my, my, my opinion, because I, I did an extensive research article on this when it happened. Oh, you back did? I know that. For muscular development, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. It was a long time Good. ago. 98. Yeah, 98. Yeah. And, um, you know... The, the 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 fact that the fact that he got originally convicted and sentenced to death all right yeah. is 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 indicative of the severity of the crime in fact in St. Kitts they didn't even know what to do with him because they never had a double homicide before in really? St. Kitts wow yeah it was the first wow. one ever so that that was that was part of the process but I, I, my opinion on him getting pardoned is that he probably at 70 years old, maybe had some health issues that, that the prison system doesn't feel like paying for. Oh, and so, yeah, you know, yeah, well, I, I agree 100% because there was a few people. Um, have you ever heard of the guys, um, the cocaine cowboys? Yep. Yeah. Um, they were, they were, um, one of the guys, um, uh, I, I actually, um, coach one, his son and he was doing a life sentence. Um, and because of his medical conditions, ended up getting released. Yeah. Um, based on based on the Second Chance Act. So that happened, you're right. Yeah. So uh, how and come they didn't so release John Gotti when he had brain cancer? How come they let him die in jail? You know what I mean? Like how, they, how come hated some people, they, they hated him. Yeah. They hated him. Oh, so John there, so there it is, right there. So that's that's yeah, what I'm so saying. So it's all biased reason. bullshit. That's what it is. Because you know, you know one John, guy can be John let out, Gotti, one guy can't. John Gotti <laughs> helped put somebody away for the feds. And he, he said, thank you very much. You know, they said, thank you, blah, blah, blah. He goes, nah, good. Can I have a plate of lasagna? They said, fucking no. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, he fucked them well, over so many years and snubbed his nose at them. That's that. Was yeah, that's was. why they hated him. Yeah. They absolutely hated him. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, you might well, be right, John. Maybe he has some kind of medical s s situation going on. And they're like, you know what? Let him live his last couple months yeah out. but is england like it is in america or the president i don't think they're that kind man i don't yeah, know but, medical but, my well, you think someone got paid off jimmy I, I don't believe they said the guy's sick let him go home get the fuck out of here come so on why did they you, let him out then we're talking about a prison system that they care if the guy's sick if he drops dead that they, they, they a lot of guys die in jail they don't they don't right. they don't say let let him out he's fucking not feeling good we don't want yeah, to pay wait. for it they don't, pay, I mean, for, they don't pay for nothing anyway. They'll let you die in a fucking cell anyway. A fuck. Wait, let me I've ask you a question, I, though. Dave, is yeah. it like America when, like, Trump, like, when he w finished his presidency, he had a whole list of people he well, you wanted can pardon to pardon. whoever you want. Yeah, yeah, they can pardon Yeah, whoever. so you could pardon anyone you want. But why would they right. pardon like him, of all people, unless someone paid off this guy or something like that, you know? To yeah, him. look yeah, at Trump knows. now. Look what happened to him. People, they don't care, these people. They got nothing you, can't even, you can't even speak the truth anymore. You get fucking... Uh, Ridiculed and raided and everything else. You just, uh, it's not, it's not a free world anymore. But they just hired 87,000 IRS agents. How about that guy? What's his name from Infowars? How about the dude, Dave, from Infowars? What happened to him? I don't know. Where is oh, he? Oh, uh, what's his Alex name? Jones. Oh, Alex Jones. Alex Jones. You don't know yeah. what happened? You don't know what happened to Alex Jones? Yeah, he has no. to pay a shit ton of money. Yeah, why? Yeah. Because he was wrong. Sandy Hook was real. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't yeah, but it doesn't matter, John. The thing is, what my point is, John, that you can't speak your fucking mind anymore. That's not, anymore. not speak. Okay? No, 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 no. That is not true. <laughs> speak accusing, accusing the government of conspiring to murder children is not your opinion. <laughs> he, he's he, he's that's not your opinion. He is stating that as fact. And trying to prove it, and it was it was that sl slander. You can't do that. Yeah, but you but you got a whole bunch. Uh, there's one book that I read while I was incarcerated that opened up my eyes on the corruption of the federal government. It was called Confessions of an Economic Hitman, and it's actually about an individual that's still in hiding. Phenomenal book. Talks about on all these conspiracies on how the the state the United States will hire these hitmen to go to like these countries 
and 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 rob them of their natural resources to in hopes of like these influx of loans to revitalize the economy and all that stuff all the while when they would not pay these debts take over like you know like you know like half the you know half their countries and this is a guy that you know like that doesn't do any interviews it's called confessions of an economic hitman i mean when i read that book man it's like i was like holy shit the corruption you know, you know, in, with in the United States, it's real, man, and it and it's and it's scary. Okay, the bottom line is, you can't believe nothing anymore. That's mm -hmm. that's why fucking Alex mean. Jones is probably the way he was because there's so many lies out there now and no truth. Hundred percent. You know, the truth is very hard to come by these days. Well, I you mean, got sued just... for libel, I guess, for, for for libel. Not, I mean, you can't put yeah. someone in jail for saying something like that. You get sued for libel. Yeah, you know? right. Should have freedom of speech, though. Even if well, listen, in other countries, listen, other countries like the Middle East, you talk shit about the government, they'll kill you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. right. Don't yeah, you know, the guy, that's why we want to keep this country free. <laughs> listen, right. you no. threaten that's why somebody. Somebody. Dude, where my parents exactly are from, right. if, yeah. listen, where listen. my parents are from, you open your mouth about the government, you're getting fucking killed. So Crazy, yeah. it's not China. so bad here as you think. You do that in China. It'll but do it's the getting same that. It's, it's going North towards Korea, that. Way. China, all there's tons of places where you get killed for talking against the government. Yeah, let me see. Well, well, they're they're not not going here now. See what happens. No, they'll kill see you. See what happens if you let the. How about we all just went over Nike. to China? They'll put you in a camp. <laughs> the Chinese government is at war with us. This they're, they're sending fentanyl across the border to kill our you our young kid people here. Oh yeah, hundred oh, yeah. percent fact. They're at war with us. They're, they, according to China, we're their enemies. And that's what's going not on. Joe Biden, he's not yes. their enemy. Oh, you could thank Nancy Pelosi for that. She went over to Taiwan. Hey, did, you see about, did you see about <laughs> Nancy <laughs> Pelosi's <laughs> son? Nancy Pelosi's son is the new Hunter Biden. Yes, <laughs> they, they're all friends. Don't oh. put any fentanyl in those cookies, please. I eat a lot of them, Judge. I don't want to drop dead. So I, got, I got a question for John. Wait, I'm so surprised go. Hunter Look, never got no fentanyl in his fucking house. I got a, I got a question. Oh, 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 is fucking oh, getting it. I got a question for John before I go, okay? Yeah. Uh, you know, we've talked about cock. we talked about China. Now let's talk about <laughs> something else for a minute, all right? John, Romano. You there? Ask you a question. Um, Everyone's me, listening. Look at your <laughs> what the fuck is that? Can't you see him? He's on the phone. Tell me what the fuck to respect the to respond. He sees you. You don't even hear me answer. We're not doing radio. What, you, don't <laughs> have a, you don't have a screen? You can't see me? No, you couldn't see it. Tyler didn't have the, the fucking shit on you. That's not to me. All right. That's you. We're all on the screen right now. You can see everyone. Yeah, you can, but I can't. I, the thing jumps around. I see, I see Bravo. I see you, and I see. Oh my God! Don't you know that that's because you got that mind. Mind. You want to just go, shut go, that shit go. Off. go, Jimmy. What, the what's the question? <laughs> God. So, John, you said you did very uh, a lot of research on uh, what, what was the something you were talking about before? Bertle Fox. You say you did extensive research, right? On Bertle Fox, Fox yeah. yes. Okay, all right. You know I love you, so. Right. How, do you know who Captain Cook is and, and James Clark Ross? Yeah, I do. Who are they? They're explorers. And what would they explore? The United States. This is not going to go to flat Earth, is it? Yeah, please, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I know it. I know it. Well, <laughs> and Australia. <laughs> and Australia. I got no. Hold on, this is some serious shit. Right, yeah, go finish your story. Yeah, he he, he was right. Captain, yeah, Captain Clark and, J and and James Clark Ross, Captain Cook were explorers. He's right, but they didn't explore the United States. They so went to the right. Antarctica. They traversed the Antarctica. Okay, yeah, that's right. It was, that's it, was, right. It, was, it was supposed to be eleven thousand miles, whatever circumference. They it, it was sixty thousand miles. Took them three to four years to circumnavigate the fucking Antarctica. Right? They did it with a British ship called the Challenger. All right. So how the fuck is that possible, John? That they did it took them three or four years to go around a little He's fucking still onto little this ice flat island. Earth shit. Oh my I, I want God. no. Oh I'm, God. The reason why I'm onto it because every time I talk about it, John bashes me and, and crashes me yeah, and fucking I, everything I'll else. I'll explain it to and you because they went yeah. to Antarctica. The boat got frozen in the fucking ice, and then they had to like chip it out and move it and move it. That took a lot of time. <laughs> uh, I got one more one more question, and then I'm done with the flat Earth. Right. So if we're down in Australia, right? Oh, let me ask you a question, Jimmy. About the, the he, he's, ball, right? he's, he's learning like Greg. He's got Hold on, Jimmy, I got a question. Under his desk now. I got a question. 
Hold on. You said it took 60,000 miles. He's pulling shit out of his desk now. Hold on, Jimmy. <laughs> you said it took 60,000 miles for him to go around Antarctica, right? Four years, yeah. Are you saying that, that he went around the whole world? Is that what you're saying? Because that's the that's ice wall? That's right. Wall? That was the 200-foot ice wall. That's oh, exactly okay. what that was. Right. I, I'm trying to get it get in my head. So I'm, 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 well, I'm, I'm glad you got that, Dave. Okay. You're, you're the only one that's doing a little okay. bit of critical thinking there. I like okay. that. All right. Next so now we're down in Australia. <laughs> So now we're all visiting Lee down in Australia, and we're on the beach with him, and we're hanging out with flying kites and everything right. else, right? <laughs> so now here's the shoreline where he lives up in that area, right? Right. And so he's basically. I don't on the think that's Australia. I think that's Africa. You're pointing to actually. No, this is Australia right here. Oh, okay. okay. I see. All right, you're right. Okay. Okay. So we're on the shoreline. We're on the bottom, almost the bottom of the earth. So all the water's kind of hanging like this, right? But some reason the waves are coming. They're crashing up onto the shore. So how how do the waves crashing up onto the shore? Because I say, see, Lee's, Lee's already sent me videos of the ocean. You know, down here, the ocean waves coming up onto the fucking boardwalk. How is that possible? How does how does how does the water go up the ball? Gravity. That's why I want to know. Bro. Gravity. I, I I'm so I'm suspecting with your left that you have an answer. That's why you so live. That is the funniest, fucking stupidest thing you ever said. <laughs> Listen, to think that Jimmy stays up at night thinking about this bullshit. No, the fact, the fact that he thinks that he's holding up the globe, that this is up and this is down. Yeah. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> I'll never bring up the flat earth again. The no, bring it up. Oh. We love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. I'm done. I got to check my blood pressure now. I got to go. <laughs> How can you not working, Jimmy? I'm not working. There's no more work. I'm out of work. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm home jerking off. I don't know what the fuck listen, I'm Listen, dude, it's hot yeah. as fuck out. Johnny Bravo, can you send uh, Jimmy uh, you know, some cabin so, jack? You know, I, I'll tell you the kind of guy I'm working for, right? You know, when Bobby got killed the other week, you know, in the truck, you know, my boss said that he was very upset that he lost $250 worth of fuel that day. Wow. That's the extent. That's the extent of compassion that this man has for his workers. Wow. That he was upset that he lost $250 worth of fuel because he fueled that guy's truck up before he got killed. He lost the fuel. Okay. He called me up this morning. He wanted me to go down to the yard with a jackhammer. Okay. And I jack, I had a, he wants me to jackhammer the asphalt off the back of the fucking, the gate in the back. In in 101, 101 degrees. I got to go yeah. inside the trailer. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta close the door in the trail. Now I'm in a heat box because the floorboard's shaped like this. So now, and it's all aluminum. So the sun is it's probably gonna be about 130 in there, right? So I gotta yeah. sit in there with a jackhammer, and I gotta jackhammer the fucking asphalt off the back, sweat my balls off because they gotta close the trailer to put, keep me in there because the door's gotta be shut tight. The fucking jackhammer. So you know, I, he called me up before and he asked me that. I said, "Because the truck wants to go out tonight." So you call me up the day before the truck has to go out. How come you called me two, three weeks ago and told me this? Yeah. You're calling me a day before. The guy, the way he operates, I just can't handle it no more. I don't know what I'm going to do, Dave. I have no idea. Yeah. I'm at my wit's end. The guy calls me the day before. So I told him, no, there's no fucking way. I'm going down there in 110 degrees. <laughs> the jackhammer, you fucking. You don't even have electric in the shop. <laughs> well, I got a generator. Well, what, you, does the generator work? I don't know. I said, well, go down there and start the generator. Give me a call. <laughs> I tell you what, are you doing an electric jackhammer, not an air hammer? Yeah, it's a it's electric. Yeah, I have well, an electric jackhammer. Those things suck. They're two. They, they're still a third of the power of the air of an air hammer. I know, but I, it's it's a Bosch. You know, it's a Bosch uh, jackhammer, John. It's about yay big, and I got a flat file on the end of it, so yeah, yeah, I got to go against. Huh? I used one here at my house to ch chisel up the tile. You get you to, to knock asphalt off. That's going to be a lot. Well, of it's work, just man. it's just asphalt. Like so, in other words, when the gate goes up and down, right? Because it has a conveyor belt. That's how the asphalt comes out. Right. And then there's a little gate that goes up and down in the back. The right. asphalt is stuck all on the bottom of the gate. I have to I have to jackhammer that asphalt off. Right. You know, so I probably would spray it up with diesel a little bit, yeah, get it soft. It up. Right. Yeah. So what do you get paid for doing not, something like that, Jimmy? Well, he'd give me a full day. He'd have to give me a full day. I don't care if it took, you know, three, four hours. Right. He's got to pay me a full day. Right. But so, you, you know what's going to happen. The jackhammer will break uh, in the middle of doing it. You'll have to wait for a new blade to come or a new part. You'll be there for 16 hours, and then he'll only pay you for one day, and then you'll have a nervous breakdown and want to kill him. That's There's right. no running water at the shop. There's no electric. Yes. <laughs> He's got no. I mean, really, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know what the worst is about jackhammering? 
you fucking feel that for hours later. <laughs> yeah, it's it's right. It's true. Yeah, well, you know what you feel? And then John will go and get a meatball sandwich shit, someplace. You know, and it'll you know only you be like, it, a, like two meatballs on it, you know? You feel it in your balls because you're jackhammering <laughs> like this. So the thing is down here, so you're fucking It helps the circulation in your penis, though, Jimmy. It's it's good for the for records. Oh, man, you'll have a fucking rock hard Woody after that, the day of that. <laughs> you don't yeah. need any cabbage sure. after that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, if I don't drop dead with a heart attack and a stroke, there yeah, I'll, I'll have yeah. a heart on. <laughs> maybe, I'll, maybe I'll drop dead with a heart attack with the fucking heart on. So there when the medics go. come, they'll That's see right. me laying there with the fucking uh, Chazol in the air, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you know, Rich, I never asked you a question before we go. Okay. What's up? You're out of prison. You could finally touch a real woman again. Have you had a chance to do it yet? Yeah. I've been out of prison for 20 years. Woman. What are you talking about? This, no, this, 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 this weekend, I sent him, him videos of me and uh, my girl hanging out on the beach. Oh, finally, nice. man, I got approved. Dude, I got approved for like uh, for like a whole day. So she came awesome. over. Uh, we hung out on the beach in the Vara Beach. Now, in the Vara Beach. Wait, did you uh, last three seconds or did you last a little bit longer? Uh, maybe four. The first <laughs> round was like about four, man. <laughs> but you know what? What's cool, man, is like when you really find somebody that you truly love and you and, and you care about each other, man, you just laugh that shit off, dude. Yeah. You just laugh that you just laugh that shit off. Second round, you know, it's like you and you get it back, bro. You get it back. But that first oh, of course. and that, that first rounder, man, it's like <laughs> dude, she probably touched your leg and you came in. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I noticed Dude, about Rich? Got- if you know, if you notice, Rich still wears the, the the white shirts that you know they give you in prison. Like you still, like you get used to them, right? Like I never wore. Listen, I have a ever. whole closet yeah. full. Everyone of those wears shirts. those in prison. Got a hundred of those fucking shirts. That's my Everyone word, wears a white shirt. You gotta wear. It. It's part of the uniform. Rich, you, know? no, you, you gave her a necklace. You should have <laughs> gave her a necklace. <laughs> You know what it is? It's also working from home, man. I'm like, like my girl got me to wear fucking PJs. So like, I'm but like, it's the I'm white like, shirt. No one wears white shirts anymore, but you yeah. wear them in jail and you get used to it. Dave, it's like, I wear them every day of my life. I got a whole closet full of those. I'd probably have a heart attack if I wear a white shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's when you know you're in heaven, Jim. There you go. All right, yeah, I got to wrap yeah. this up. Guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, great stories right. today. I really appreciate it. And Greg, uh, Let's play Guess What Greg Has Under the Table next week. I want you to put some cool shit under the table for next week's show. We're going to have a guessing game to see if we can guess what you have under there. Five items. And uh, if any of us I get it right, if any of us get it right, I'm going to be giving prizes out. So All it's right. up to you. Greg, don't tell anyone what you have under there. You understand? Look, I got my friend right here. <laughs> Who's that, Lee Priest? <laughs> Jimmy. Oh, that's me? Jimmy. It? I look like it I'm taking a shit. It actually looks like Steve Carroll, doesn't it? John, no, it looks like yeah, it Richard. Does. It, it looks like, like Richard a little bit when he's pissed off. It's Carly. It's Carly from his priest <laughs> All right. Rich, you're like, fuck uh, you, John. I know it. We're wrapping this thing up with Mr. Potato Head here. I'm Dave Palumbo with the entire Whack Pack. We'll see you next week. Okay, guys. Thanks. See you later, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, man. Wait, guys, listen, Dave. You know why 